Welcome to the live training session number two, part three. In this video, we're going to be wrapping up the tuning on our naturally aspirated K-series engine. We're going to be taking a look at the part throttle, the full throttle, fuel ignition and cam angle tuning, as well as setting our VTEC. And we're going to have a little bit of bonus content setting our launch control up as well at the end. We're going to have a lot to cover, so let's jump into our live training session and check this out. Okay, so now let's fire up the engine. We've uploaded our calibration file. We've locked our VTEC in at 3000, and we're gonna be ready to start making our pools. Let's go fire up the motor real quick here. Let's give it a second. We'll let everything stabilize before we try to start doing any of our high cam optimization. So I'm gonna be putting my dyno right now into its dyno mode. Again, we're gonna be starting our pool at 3500 and ending our pool at 8200. It's gonna be the range I'm gonna be controlling my engine in with the dyno. Let's jump back into our main screen here. And let's make sure that the engine is a uh, pretty decent coolant temp. So let's see it's at 161, that's gonna be okay. We've let the engine sit for a few minutes. It's cooled down, it is very cold in the garage here. It's roughly about 40 degrees, so uh, it's gonna cool down very quick. What I'm gonna do right now is just bring it into some part throttle operation. And I'm gonna just get the uh, coolant temp about 180. I wanna make sure that it's out of any kind of warm up enrichment or any kind of modifier table as the engine is coming up to its operating temperature. So I'm just gonna bring it up right now. You could see um, if I give it a little more throttle here, it's bouncing. Uh, between my high and low cam for a second there, it was actually bouncing back and forth uh, because I have the VTEC engagement point at 3000 and I'm holding the engine right around 3000. We can see we're actually on the high cam. You can see right now it's bouncing back and forth. Um, that'll be sufficient. Now our engine is up to temp. So let's go in and do our full, full first full throttle pull. And I'm going to go into my overlay here and I'm going to do control L and let's go ahead and do that pull from 3500 to 8200 and see what that's going to look like now. So have it into gear and we'll click F9 and start our data log. The dyno was still in its normal operation mode, so let's actually switch it into full throttle mode here to do a pull. There we go. Now it's now we're ready to go here. Let's try that again. Okay, what we just had happen was the lean protection. We set that up, normally I don't set it up, but we found that it uh, actually cut out, and that's actually uh, previously when we were doing the low cam tuning. And when I was initially starting to do the dyno pools, we found that it would uh, cut out, and I didn't know what it was. That was actually the lean protection kicking in there as well. It was catching the momentary condition where I started to give it a bunch of throttle, probably needed a little bit more acceleration enrichment,